Hello Patterdale fans, it's Jane here, Lady Patterdale. You can find me at www.ladypatterdale.com. Um, as you can see from outside, let me just pan the camera around, it is cold and miserable. It's been snowing. So I live in the southeast, so of course we're going to talk about the weather because um, we don't often see snow down here. So um, it's newsworthy when the northern counties get it. Uh, you're just expected to get on with it, but when it comes down here, it makes the news. So yeah, cold, miserable and horrible. What I thought I'd talk about today is puppy biting. Now, a lot of the complaints I get from puppy owners um, is my puppy bites me too much and it hurts. Well, yes, it does hurt. Um, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is cover why um, puppies do it, why they don't do it, and what you can do if your puppy starts to bite you because it can cause some injuries and obviously it can draw blood. So what it doesn't mean is it doesn't mean that your puppy is necessarily bad, um, but they're not doing it out of spite or anger or because they don't love you anymore or anything like that. Um, they're probably doing it because they are teething and it hurts. So if you can imagine a human when they start teething, um, you know, they're losing their baby teeth and their adult teeth are coming through, um, it's gonna hurt them. So they're probably just trying to alleviate some pain that they're probably feeling at the time. Um, it doesn't mean to say you're a bad owner. Um, if you're getting bitten, again, your puppy isn't trying to hurt you deliberately. They're probably just in pain um, and they're probably just trying to alleviate that pain. Um, they're not trying to dominate you contrary to popular belief. Um, again, they are just trying to um, get away from the pain they may be feeling. Um, it may mean that they're overstimulated and that's the reason why they're biting. Um, they can't control the behavior at this particular point in their lives and um, they're just overstimulated. It might also mean that they're tired, they're bored, they're hungry. All these natural things that humans feel, um, our puppies are feeling them as well. And one of the sort of natural channels of energy is to try biting. So it could be a possible reason why they do bite you. Um, please don't shout at them. Don't punish them. Don't, you know, um, hit them or anything like that. Um, you don't need to show them who's boss. Um, treat them with kindness, kindness every single time. Um, they're just learning. They're puppies, they're learning the ropes. Um, they're just learning how to be a dog. Um, and you need to um, just show them the way, show them how to um, alleviate some pain in, a, in an acceptable way. So an acceptable way to um, let a dog or let a puppy um, chew is to give it sort of what we call legal toys. So a legal toy could be something like a little tuggy rope that's been either in the freezer or you've soaked it in some water so it's nice and soft or cool and that could help to um, help with some of that pain that they may be feeling because their teeth are coming through. Um, you may want to give them ice cubes, um, give them other sort of soft toys that they can have a good old chew on rather than your arm or your leg or your foot or your sock. Um, so hopefully that's been of some use, um, just a few sort of why they do it and why they don't do it and also what you can do to, um, to help your pup through a very painful time in their lives. Um, they will get over it, it does go away, you just need to manage it and please show kindness. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, folks. Lots of love.